Please subscribe. Please like. Please comment so I know what you want me to do. There's a guy that wants me to do a lot of wasp stories. And I told him I could tell you two stories about Blackie that would make, probably make you dislike him intensely. Or think way different about him. One of them is, I'll just give you a taste <laughs> or a tease, is the time that they went to England. They just got signed. They were playing some places around here, you know, country clubs, selling it out. You know, they had gotten too big. They sent them over to England where they actually had a following. The the uh, F Like a Beast was uh, charting. And so was uh, the... It was uh, I want, I want to be somebody. The line he stole from Paul Stanley, an interview that he did on TV. I want to be somebody. I want to be whatever. Anyways, Paul Stanley said that. Blackie Lawless made it into a song. He steals everything. Blackie. Or Steve. That's his real name. So, Steve and Chris and all them went over to England. Did some shows. Some pretty big shows. One at the Lyceum Theater. I think it's called. They videotaped it. They came back. That's it. And I ran into Blackie. And this guy, I had been hanging out with this idiot moron for two years. And Chris and Randy and uh, the first drummer. And, you know, I would get drunk with Chris and Randy. And they would go, and then they'd get chewing gum and go back to rehearsal. Because it was just down the street. And they re rehearsed down the street at Visions. They did it for a long time because one wall is a is all mirrored so you can see what you're doing. So they go through the stage moves and they do everything. And I heard them write, uh, what's that last song on the first album? The Torture Never Stops. Oh, my gosh. He hadn't written any lyrics to it. He, they were just playing the song. And I'm like, oh, this is freaking amazing. Because there was a little couch and I was sitting there and my now first ex-wife... <laughs> Marjorie, Marjorie was sitting next to me, and we're, I'm just like, oh, this is so cool. But as soon as Blackie came back, I came up, asked him how it was over, how they were, what happened in England. And he just went on this rant. I'm not going to say. Then the other one, because he, he went on this stupid rant about him touring the world and knowing millions and millions of people or meeting, and how am I supposed to remember me? Dude, you saw me every flipping day for two years. So he was a dick. He immediate went to his head, dick. And then the other one has to do with a witch and Kevin Dubrow. So there you go. I'll just set you up with that. The other story has to do with me, not me, with the witch that I was with. The real witch. A Wiccan, Wiccan, white and I, you know, she brought me home from the rainbow. I woke up. She had me laying on her couch with a sword on me, and she was drawing a picture of me. <laughs> and I was, uh, all I had was a sword and my looks. And uh, then she proceeded to tell me, I said, did we do anything? And she goes, oh, no, no, because I didn't remember anything. I drank wine, and wine doesn't go good. So... She proceeded to tell me this story about Blackie because she had a drawing of Blackie. I go, oh, did you, did you know Blackie? And she goes, well, and she told me this story. And it starts with her and Blackie, and it ends with Blackie and Kevin. That's all I'm going to say. So there you go. I don't want to talk crap about Kevin because he was actually always cool to me. And, you know, whatever he did, he did. And now he's not here. So, but Blackie is a dick, or was a dick. If he is still not, I have no idea. I haven't talked to him in a long time. Chris, it's been three years, four years. Just before, or just after, it's when he got that, you know, I told the guy online, this millionaire chick, self-made uh, artist over in Europe, Sw Sweden, Switzerland, something, one of those countries, told you know got hold of chris and she said I'll, i want to marry you but if we marry you can't do drugs you can't drink you can smoke pot because over there it's legal so it must be holland or so i can't who knows 
because he's all over. He goes to Paris and he jams with people. Now he's singing. This guy sent me a video of him singing. Wow. I've even thought of it because, but I have a singer. I'm going to use you, Lion. Not Mandy Lion, another guy Lion. So, I'm lost. So, whatever. <laughs> I can't remember. So, Chris owned his pool. I've got a crap load of stories with him when he was living in my garage. It's a ton. It could fill up hours, but I don't have that long. So, I'm just going to jam on this. I'm glad I finally found it. It's totally EVH. Every single thing on here is an EVH product. Nothing has been switched or anything. So, there you go. Let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs>
stupid thing! I gotta get that Echoplex thing back. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna bore you guys. What sound we got left? Whoa! Alright! <laughs> Thank you. Metal.